Αν βρίσκεται πού μετά τη συναυλία των Σκόρπιων στο Χάμπτε Πάρτι που υπάρχει, μάσα πρώτα, τρώμε, τρώμε Παναγιωτόπουλε, τρώμε και αμέσως μετά πάμε για press conference στις 12 η ώρα το βράδυ ώρα Γερμανίας με τους Σκόρπιους να μας πούνε τα πρώτα τους έτσι, ασχόλια ό,τι αφορά την συναυλία τους και χειμώνα. Λοιπόν, πάμε να πάμε τώρα.
But I met Spectres, Scorpions, or Klaus, or Rudolf. How you doing? How are you guys doing? <laughs> very good, very good, yeah. very good. Hello, After please. Last, Hello, please. After last night, we are very relaxed because this was an um, adventure mm -hmm. which we had to work for the last five years to make it happen and make it right. I think the most compliment was for us that the orchestra came to us and said this was fantastic, it was mm -hmm. fun to work with you guys and the same we can compliment can give back to the Berlin Philharmonic Orchestra and I think that was what we were looking for. We spent a lot of time to make it right, to shame, uh, to force them, mm -hmm. force us and that's what music is all about, to create a vibe which people uh, get cross over and um, you could see yesterday in the concert that people was impressed. And, I, and what the big compliment in the audience was that I was sometimes thinking about, I like it or not, that I'm one person we know very much. Uh, he said, you know, I forgot to, to clap. <laughs> I was so impressed. He was all astonished. So, that's astonished. Was, yeah. After 30 years of in the business, you guys together, how is it to be with an orchestra on stage? It's fantastic. It's something like the next week we play, you know, it's, it's we go, where's the orchestra? <laughs> <laughs> it's not an easy job to do. No, it's not an easy job to do. Uh, but I think the key is in the in the music, the key is in the arrangements. And Christian Kronowitz, who wrote the arrangements for this project, uh, he did a fantastic job. He uh, excited the Scorpions with the, with the music, and he got all the respect, I think, from the Berlin Philharmonic Orchestra. And, uh, and I think it, the, the key is in the, in, in the music, you know, and uh, to, to have a chance to play with the best classical orchestra in the world, uh, it's just an amazing experience, and it was a very special moment, it was truly a moment of glory, and it was very inspiring, and this whole project, we had a lot of fun working with an orchestra, and uh, it's a whole new uh, ball game, you know, it's, it's a totally different world, and I think it was uh, from the technical point of view. Since it was uh, not only a live concert, it was also a TV show that went all over Europe. I think it was a technical masterpiece as well. So great credit to Christian Kolonowitz being the conductor of this amazing concert and uh, also to all the crew people who made it from technical point of view who made, made it happen. Everybody is coming, it's different. Why is it different? Because, I'll tell you one thing, we had this idea already uh, five, six years ago, mm -hmm. and the good thing about it was that the orchestra came to us and asked us. We were shocked in the first place because uh, to get an offer from the best orchestra in the world, uh, we was a little bit like, because we are underdogs, you know, we are a band playing rock music and sometimes we had a hard time to be accepted in Germany. And now, getting this point, uh, hey, you have to do it. But like for us, good. But we always see challenge. challenge. Yeah. We see a challenge and we took the challenge and we had to work like five to six years in our mind. And also the Philharmonic Orchestra is very busy. We are very busy. And I tell you one thing, uh, especially to tell you the truth, uh, Michael Kamen was our first choice. Mm -hmm. We were talking to Classic Rock magazine. Yeah. We we was we, we was talking to him and said, "Here, can you do it?" He said, "Look, I have this many movie uh, things to do, and and but don't stop asking me." But somehow it didn't came together. I don't know. Maybe he was too expensive, whatever. Mm -hmm. But he came to Medical Italica and said, "Here, yeah, I have a good idea," and he did it. Maybe it's not best for us because I think Metallica was. Uh, a cleaning floor for us mm -hmm. because yes. there because uh, the uh, Metallica is accepted in the rock world and I think that now we did it different I was watching the concert in Berlin which I did with the Berlin Symphonic Orchestra mm -hmm. and I think that what I did was good and in this case we tried to not really an orchestra around the Scorpions we tried to really make some new yeah Really play with them. I think in the, the big difference, I think, was also the spirit of the whole thing. That it was.
was not here's the orchestra and there's a rock band. You know, it was really the way we build a communication with those guys from the first recording session in Berlin onwards. You know, there was really like a communication going on. Well, it's not easy. I mean, there are many young players in the orchestra, but there are also some older people who played even under Karajan. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and. Uh, to build a vibe between the band and 85, 90 people, musicians, the best players in the world, you know, not so easy, but I think we managed to get in touch and build a communication. I think by the time last night we reached a point where this communication turned out that it was not here at the Scorpion, that's the orchestra, it was just the two of us, we want to play a great show together. We went out there, let's go. And, 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 no, and that's the difference, no, and that's the, the difference, biggest really, to, to bring this across together. The know? biggest compliment, which yesterday, one person, uh, or two persons, which played already under Karyan, mm -hmm. said, this moment of glory today reminds me of Karyan, because Karyan was always the first with his vision, and he created this vibe into the orchestra. With you can have the best orchestra in the world when you don't have the vision, it's not coming through. Okay. This guy, these both That's guys came exactly. and said, hey, that reminded me of when we was working under Karajan. Yeah. That's great for the compliment. That's a great, that's a great, that's a great compliment. The feeling I got yesterday is like, I've seen the orchestra with you guys playing together. Not the orchestra in the background. Yeah, this is some kind of vibe. Something yeah. that's playing the vibe. Yeah. You guys were playing together. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's, the that's what we try to achieve with this project. That's what the new crossover project, the project is all about. But uh, there are a million uh, uh, chances, you know, to get it wrong, you know, and, and but we were very lucky, but, but the way we built up this communication and that we really got up there and played together, because in the studio, we did our part in Vienna and they did their part and they played all the tracks in, in, uh, in Berlin, you know, and we always said, the record, that's one thing, you know, but the real chance, the real challenge and the real deal, this is to get up on stage and really play together. And that's what we did, and I think that the audience, they couldn't believe that we really felt like not two different worlds, of course it's two different worlds, but somehow, for some reason, and that might, might be the, 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 the new thing uh, about this whole thing, coming together and playing together, that we really, we hit it together with the audience, for the audience and for everybody, you know, and that's, uh, that's some kind of magic, and don't ask me how we did it, you know, I, I, I think it was the spirit and the people who've been working on this project and putting it together, the chemistry was just like this, and that's, you, you cannot ask for more. I love Dai Tuai. A lot of people uh, didn't like it because it, they, 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 they see it as an experience, experiment from you guys. What do you have to say? Do you regret it? I mean, it, maybe a um, mistake was to come out with a song like uh, To Be Number One because it was so far on the left or the right side that people thought that the whole album is like this. Mm -hmm. um, for as a band like Scorpions playing so many years rock music, you sometimes have to, let's say, make your musical experience and see what you did in the past from a different angle. And I think that what we did, this was, was maybe for us an experience, we worked very hard on it, people maybe get the wrong message, but, you know, the career normally, and you can see it with the Stones, with other bands, with the Queen, always bands who are forcing themselves, sometimes they had to have this experience, because That's if right. you don't have this, you go to one-way street. So I think it's like a school, you know, you, you learn, you, you, you try to get your upgrade every year, you know, mm -hmm. and I think with this last album, you know, we, I 
think to make this upgrade, we were just we were we maybe we were we were not good in, in mathematics, you know, or something. Mm -hmm. But with this record, we were very good in music, you know, and we made this upgrade. I think you know there are different ways to get in school to the next class. You that's know? right. That's right. And I think it didn't work out the last time. But after 30 years career, you always try to find new way. You, you you always try to find for yourself a new challenge and a new emotion in the music and new way. And again, it's all about chemistry, you know. And with Peter Wolf, obviously the, the chemistry had something, but it was not really that. In the end of the day, what was really the the point that connected Peter Wolf with the Scorpions, and more important, even more important, with the fans out there, you know. And and I think you must learn. And sometimes you go like this, and sometimes you go like this, and it's all a, a big wave that's you right. go with, that's right. you know, that's right. yeah. and sometimes you fall <laughs> flat on your face, right. and the important thing is to stand up again, you know, and we're musicians, and we have, have a long, long career, and we still enjoy music, and therefore, with this one was a lot of fun, uh, because with Christian Kolonowitz, he must get all the credit in the world, you, did an excellent you know, whatever, however successful this album might be or not, but he will get all the credit, definitely, because he's just a great, great Rocker and it's like a great classical guy because he really brought both worlds together in a perfect way. It was great, it was great to see that our songs which we composed 10, 15 years ago and how his songs became in a new dimension, mm -hmm. a three dimension. Before it was two dimension was good, mm -hmm. but then the third dimension came in mm -hmm. because of the power of the classical arrangements of the musicians who played the fantastic to see your songs growing again, that's next right. step. That's what we was enjoying most. I respect on my one two song. <laughs> What's the next step for uh, Scorpions? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I think everything was so much focused on this concert because we want to do it right and we want to impress the Berlin Philharmonic Orchestra. They impress us. As so everything is there, okay, we have plans, no question about this. We're doing an unplugged album. Ah. Uh, we're doing, of course, still Scorpions are a rock band. That doesn't mean that we play now uh, since the end of the career with a, a big con uh, orchestra. But uh, for us, it's important that we are still a rock band. And yeah, we go here and we, we maybe keep going. We yeah, keep going. Yeah, maybe I mean, we do a con concert you, uh, uh, tour with an uh, orchestra around the world. We might, we might play with different orchestras around the world. We might play with the Berlin of the Ghana if we want. Uh, it would be great to come to Greece. You know, I mean, I would be very happy to come to Greece and play with them. What the about the fans over there? The Greek orchestra, you know, would yeah, be fantastic. In, 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 you know, in, yeah, the yeah, arena, fantastic. in this arena. And the Capitos, the Rovio, I'm yeah. telling the arena. Up there, up there in, in the, the Acropolis. Yeah, yeah, Acropolis. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that's would be fantastic. That would be fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so there are many, many dreams mm -hmm. and a lot of things. And of course, we do this Unplugged album. There will be some classics, there will be new songs, there will be a couple cover versions, and we have some favorite ideas already. You started and doing So it's a lot, of, a lot of stuff, a lot of work coming up. And 2001, I think we will play concerts around the world, mm -hmm. but also we'll start working and writing another rock record that we'll probably will not. Mm -hmm. You're starting doing stuff that you never did in your career. You're trying to you know, catch up, or now you think it's the right time to do it? I'm, I'm always, I mean, if you go from your stomach, from your soul, the right time always <coughs> comes up and you have to catch uh, the train in this situation that you know when the time is right. And I mean, this, what I said before, we was looking for this project uh, with Berlin Philharmonic Orchestra since 94. And we had time enough, it's like an apple, you know, if the apple is not right, you bite in and you don't like it. But if the right time is, the apple becomes sweet. And this was the, the timing. That's the timing, and this was, we are not afraid about our age. We have a lot of success worldwide, but for us it's important that we enjoy things. In this case, we're going forward and then new things coming up. You have to be sensitive enough to watch the world and then the right things coming up. You know what, then we were there, and people going, oh, God is again? I can't believe this. But it's not wine, it's like wine. Oh, but because so what, what worked uh, against <laughs> us in the beginning, we and John Benz is now working for us, because we became strong to, uh, as a German band, to make worldwide success. And it was very hard in the beginning, but 
and one thing is important, never choose the easy way. Go the hard way, then you're strong enough to survive the easy time. That's right. Awesome. Well, I couldn't say better. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. I mean, I think uh, we have uh, many uh, years ahead of us, mm -hmm. and it's a lot of work. I think after so many years, you know, of working together, uh, with with success being on top of the world and going down again mm -hmm. and going up again, all this, it's a movement like it's even the stones, you know, go this way, you know. It's everybody. Oh, everybody, you know. Everybody. It's just the way it is. And I'm, I feel very privileged, you know, that we still can, can play together, that we still can live our vision, mm -hmm. can, can live our dream as musicians, and we still have a chance to like this project with the Berlin Philharmonic Orchestra, that there is a, something like this and where we go, yeah, let's do this. And because it's so inspiring, it's like a, fresh, a refreshment park or a refreshment mm -hmm. farm, you know? It, it, it really is because it's a lot of work, of course, but it's, uh, it's healthy because it's, it's food for your soul. You know, and you know as a musician, you really, you're on the right track, you make this upgrade to another level, and without losing, you know, and not forgetting where you come from, of course, that's very important. Don't forget your roots. No, don't forget your roots, and that's the reason we still live here in Hanover, hometown. It's, it's, you know, and that's very important, not forget where you come from. But uh, it's great to learn, and it's great to experience that, uh, there might be a great future ahead of us and uh, think positive and enjoy life and so i got two more questions and we're done. First of all, I'm going to use one of your songs, one of your major hits, because I, I'm, I'm listening all the time that you're working, you're working, you're working. What about holidays? Are you guys going to rest a little bit? Do we have, have fun? We have a song called Holiday. Know, that's, that's a about major it. hit. Yeah. That's about holiday. it, but you talk about vacation. <laughs> you know, I'm, 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 I say one thing. For, I think what the good thing, what we have in our <laughs> life so far, that our hobby became our uh, job. I hate the uh, word job, but it's, it's like this. And for us, it's holiday and working is for us one thing together. There is no, oh, let's go on holiday. Because when we, when we go on holiday, we're still thinking about music. Mm -hmm. To be a rock musician, is like a blues musician or a jazz musician, it's a lifestyle. And we're living 24 hours to uh, have the antenna out and get, get some inspiration and be in it. We love it. And when I drive 260 kilometers fast... the antenna is out at the beach. Ah, there you go. Yeah, but if you drive 260, yeah, 260, yeah, 260 uh, kilometers fast on a motorway, still you are a rock musician. That's you right. know, and when you go to an island like here in Greece, Yanis, we say hello to you. Hello, Yanis. <laughs> our friend of us. No? We come back yeah. to you guys. I mean, this is applies to all our friends in yeah. Greece, okay. you know. We miss you. Okay. And last question. If you have to pick a song, a new song or an old song that you like listening to the radio or watch it on TV, which was that? Not to be a Scorpion song. Any song, no. Oh. Wow. What's your favorite? Oh, that's difficult. <laughs> Stairways to Heaven difficult. is a very, uh, yeah. is a very it's emotional. It's a difficult question. Yeah. It can be an old Beatles track, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it's a tough one. Yesterday. Yeah. It's a what about a new band? Do you listen to any new, new band? band? Modern rock, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Also, Chili Peppers. Peppers. Chili Peppers. The new Les Mars album is fantastic. Yeah, I like fantastic. this new band from Finland. Him, you know. Oh yes, yeah, that's great. Great yeah. oh, Great soundtrack. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Very nice. Guys, I'd like to thank you very much. Thank you for your great job. Thank you. Thank you for making our life, you know, better. Yes. Thank you. You have a good Bye bye. Και τι δεν μα είπαν οι Σκόρπιον. Πολλά έτσι. πράγματα. Εγώ έμεινε στο τελευταίο που άκουσα που του στείλανε ναι. χαιρετήματα στο Γιάννη Τεκουτούβο. Μπράβο τα παλικάρια. Λατρεύουν πάρα, πάρα πολύ την Ελλάδα. Του ναι. είπα αν θα έρθουν καθόλου για διακοπέ και αυτά εδώ, αλλά α, η δουλειά του είναι μαζί μέσα στη ζωή του. Και τι διακοπέ λένε να κάνουμε, αφού όπου και αν πάμε, λέει πάρε με τη